So, well, I was off playing in SCG Philly. Cody Lingelbach was top eighting his second Grand Prix in a row, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the first time was with, I believe, Mardu Dragons. Uh, and this time is with a pretty similar deck, except we're playing Logrixis action. So, uh, very, very light blue splash, mostly just for Eldrazi Sky Spawner, but also for some counter spells like this uh, Miser's main deck to spell here. So, uh, pretty cool. It is basically like, it's kind of similar to Red Black Dragons, where you have like some small tokeny stuff. You have Hangerback Walker, Thopter Engineer, uh, Eldrazi Sky Spawner also, and then you use Kolagon the Storm's Fury at the top end to pump all that stuff up, get in for a bunch of damage. Uh, this deck also gets to play Bearer of Silence, which is a nice pickup. Uh, two mana, two one, Flyer is reasonably aggressive, but also, I don't know, you can basically put these in the four drop slot too if you want to, just because you have like the little Gatekeeper of Malakir added ability on there, which is pretty sweet, so... Uh, four Shivan Reef, two Haven of the Spirit Dragon, conveniently adds colorless, so you get a little Aldrazi Splash in your Dragon deck, which is kind of sweet. Uh, it's a nice little bit of innovation there. I like it a lot. Also, Bear of Silence, Devoid, Hangerback Walker, colorless, Aldrazi Sky Spawner plus Scion, Devoid, Doctor Engineer, makes a colorless token. We got a couple Ghostfire Blades to make our little stuff not so little anymore, so that's pretty sweet too. So... Uh, this deck is fairly innovative and pretty cool. Not a lot of removal, just four Draconic Roars and three Murderous Cuts, which, uh, for me, I think that's probably fine. There's not a lot of stuff that you necessarily need to kill. A lot of this format is mostly about, uh, just doing, like, the biggest, best thing on the battlefield, and I think this deck accomplishes that pretty well with its go-wide strategy, and it's also pretty nice that your go-wide stuff is kind of weak to Radiant Flames, but then you have things like Hangerback Walker, Thunderbreak Regent, and Kolagon, which don't really care about Radiant Flames. So, uh, opponent is kind of in a tight spot where it's like they have to bring in this stuff that's good against your little things, but uh, not so good against your big things. So, pretty sweet there. Uh, other than that, mana base is pretty normal. 26 lands, uh, 11 fetch lands. Uh, there are 14 blue sources for the Sky Spawners and Counter Spells, so... Uh, mana base looks pretty good too. As for the sideboard, more Dispels. Uh, Cody obviously very serious about beating Collected Company decks, being able to go up to four Dispels after board. Uh, also one Disdainful Stroke for decks that go a little bit bigger, mostly the green-red Eldrazi ramp deck. And I don't know, it's, it's interesting because there's the one Stroke and then four Transgress the Mind, which granted is easier to cast, may or may not be as impactful. I feel like Having, like, making it so they have to spend the mana on the card is, I don't know, it's, it's certainly one of the upsides of playing a counter spell instead of a discard spell, but at the same time, this deck also kind of wants to be tapping out on, like, turns four and five, so uh, I definitely get why you might want to go with a more proactive discard instead of the counter spell. Uh, and also, like I said, you know, transgress is just easier to cast, so there is that too. Other uh, than that, the fourth murderous cut. Uh, three self-inflicted wounds, pretty good against, you know, any sort of green creature deck. Most notably, Abzan, but also, like, fine against the banned company decks. Uh, a seismic rupture, uh, pretty interesting. Uh, doesn't actually hit a lot of the creatures in this deck. Like, it doesn't kill the Thopter Engineer or the Thopter. It doesn't kill the Sky Spawner, it kills the Scion. Uh, may or may not kill your Hangerback walk Walker, which you may or may not even want. And doesn't kill the Bearer of Silence, so... Uh, it is kind of a one-sided little sweeper in the sideboard. Uh, I know that Cody said that he would probably cut it, but if there are a lot of traditional Atarka red decks, I mean, that, that card's kind of necessary against them. It's pretty nice. And then the top end, a couple of Drifting Ds. Uh, I don't know if these are supposed to come in against something like Bant or not. I mean, there are multiple dragons, so it's not like... Silumgar is just doing the minus one, minus one. Like, it's, it's most often just going to be a minus two, minus two, which... Makes it a lot more impressive, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, seems a little slow against the Tarka Red. The, those decks are going a little bit bigger these days, but uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to come in against something like Bants or whatever. I'll probably try it, but uh, that's about it. A little beatdown machine. Got some removal, some, uh, some beaters that are not really affected by spot removal all that much. Like a lot of your things still give you a little bit of value. Thopter Engineer, Sky Spawner, make a token. Hangerback Walker makes tokens on death. 
Bear of Silence may or may not edict them. Thunderbreak region deals them damage. Colgon's just hard to kill in general because of dash and whatnot. So uh, I like this deck. This deck seems pretty tight. So let's see what it can do.